hello and welcome guys welcome to yet another video around the fairways and the first thing we'll see how you can use php within this to generate your code so if you come to this fairways studio and you see here the start coding on app an app you don't see here the list in the php is coming here in the list okay so you see the go you see the python java.net so and some others like the mongo angular so gemini api you see here but you don't see here the php stops so but yes it support php so let me tell you how you can do that so for that you can create here on the new application so here on the top maybe the php will be added very soon but it is not available as of now so so here you see the plus icon and the new workspace and this fairways studio has upgrade today and they are saying now okay so you see here the important updates to your google developer program membership and they are saying the standard members now have access to 10 fairways studio workspaces okay so currently i have this one project that means the one workspace so my workspace you see only one okay so i have only ability to add or manage 10 only okay so we'll also check uh, if i create 10 and delete the 10th one then can i add the another one so we'll also see in the coming video but for this video we'll have how to use php so i will simply click here on the new workspace now uh, uh, php is a part of wave okay so back end you see the go python java you don't see here the php but if you come and scroll down the more back end templates you will find here the php okay and in the feature backend templates you see the php with laravel okay so build an app with laravel and php and then we'll have here on, on these sections so again the same way if you come to the web we'll have here the option the simple html so create a new html web app with plain html css okay so so these are the list that was missing from here you will not even find here the html only but from here creating a new workspace you will see those lists that was not mentioned there on the on the first page okay so this is how quickly you can find so you don't have to much worry around so you see here suppose you have to only code within html and simple html css and the js then you will be using this one but it right? so the php the react is also coming here so backend so php is a part of backend so if you see the laravel is coming as a featured backend template along with go python class java dot net okay now if i scroll in the more backend template section i can see the php okay so if i click on this and let's say my php my, i am typing here my php site okay so i will click on the create well so it is started in initializing so setting up workspace then it will initialize the environment then it will build it environment and finally it will finalize okay so this is how you will be able to start php project and it will give you the details like this what all details it is giving it's giving the dev next file then you'll have here the ps code so this is something you don't have to worry on the code you see the docker ignore file then docker file so ideally it it will be giving here the from php 8.0 passage that means it will be using 8.0 so not the latest one same you will have here the index got it 
now uh, it's so let's see here if you come here you can chat with chimney and let's say here command create a simple website having home about us contact us faqs pages okay let's see what it look like so it say the unable command okay so i think i should have a space here yes so between this and your command there should have been a space so that's my bad so let's wait here and you see it create uh, the index file so index you see it is already there but you can review the changes and replace so i have no issue with updating this because this is earlier one and the test one okay so i have created a simple website with home about us contact us and faq page okay now i'll be asking to run this project okay let's see okay so if i click this so will i be able to uh, execute this let me try yes so it has about us contact us faq so this is just giving a simple raw okay so this is how you can now on top of this basic you can your write your own code okay so create so generate nice looking website as of now index content only raw files okay so let's see so again it is preparing the file changes and after the changes done uh, again it will be asking me here to review the change what all the changes it will do so it will do something like this then i will click on the update okay so again i will come here and refresh i see the changes like this all right so whatever the command will give you can give the command a step by step and of course this will be coding me step by step so not everything it is going to be created okay so this is just a simple one so again i will have to type here generate why simple one fill with raw data sample data let's say nice and it's, it should be responsive okay so i just write here so so i come to here the chat gpt in separate refresh my chrome for nice looking website having about us contact us on page if you use so let's see uh, it will give me uh, here the prompt so i'll be using this prompt okay and let's see how it works so i am using this generate and come here and i just this so you also have here the option through which but 
what is your uh, priority preferences so let me try with the latest one no it is asking for the key let's see <clears throat> sorry so let's wait here and to see what it gives okay so now you see as of now it's just a simple one but yes so everything uh, working fine you see here it's a one page site it is adding here on top like the id you should see here it is just adding on top and based on that it is displaying the content around. okay and now if you review the chains you'll find it has added some more css now okay so i will update and this one okay so now you see it looks something uh the better than the better version of the previous one okay generate nice is background footer should be is should be stick with bottom okay let's see so again so based on your command it will do the work but you have to make sure you are giving the command in incremental way so again i can review this and it has added some more css and i will have this okay now i will come again here you see it added me a background now i can see the footer is stick to the the bottom sections okay so if i come here under inspect i can see like this again generate make it responsive and better header for mobile devices okay so because i don't see much uh, interactive view of the mobile device here okay so now again i can review the change and i can update okay so again here i will replace and now i can see like this okay so you can add more command here and you can see the improved version got it so if any image not loading you can also ask gpt to fix this why this particular image not loading got it so this is just a placeholder in case you have to add you can add this one okay so let's suppose uh, i have to add an image here then you can add okay so you can come click on the plus no here suppose here we have to add then you'll have to right click here on bs code i i can upload then under downloads i can see some image okay images dot jpeg 
in place so image placeholder okay so it's again a I just uploaded images dot jpg please use this I'm not sure why it is saying uh, unable to access Get the exact name. <laughs> this is the file name I just uh, uploaded. Yes, but I don't have the ability to access local file. No, not on local. Okay, so so I have used this one uh, in the previous video. Not sure why this time it is not using. So how can I provide the public URL? Okay, so let's suppose this is the site. And what if I add here emails? Dot JPG. Let me try accessing this one. Oops. So I'm not able to access that image. So today I'm not able to access, but previously I have access uh, the different workspace. So I was able to use that uh, in a React project. Suppose you are done with all your coding and you have to export this particular project. Then how you will do that? So for that you can simply in this case I have one file. So I will simply click right click on this file and click on the zip and download. So it will give me that file. And suppose this is the one file. Suppose you have multiple files here and the directories. Then you will have to select each and every like this by using your mouse and control and i can click here the right click again then zip and download then all these selected will be downloaded within this zip one. okay so you see here okay so this is how you can download your project created here on your local machine and you can use that anywhere else wherever you okay so that's it for that's it from this video thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead